Hello. All right. I'm back with the final. I know I, I skipped a lot of recordings for you guys, but this is how I, unless I feel like adding little things to it, I think this is basically done. It'll go in the, will I give it away? Will I sell it pile? Okay. So here's the book. It, it, it is a bit of an alligator mouth. This was a hair tie that I bought at Michael's on sale. Um, this one did not come with a clip on it, but I found this in my jewelry stash. I sewed it I, with embroidery floss. I'm going to have to re-sew that so that it goes over. It had like four little loops, and so I tried to sew it around. See, it's not a very good job, but whatever. I'll try and tighten that up a bit. So, and you can move it around, but it's just a tie. I didn't want to bother. I didn't know how else to... Um, I didn't want to make any holes or anything. I glued this on. This, because I, I left the edge unglued around the whole thing. So I could probably take like a charm and a bull clip and I can attach, you can attach things on here if you wanted. But I just left it like this for now. So here's the front. Um, now remember I, I sewed this and then when I started to sew the same um, design on the back pocket, I broke off a little piece of my foot so which is fine I think I fixed it I haven't tried it and next time I try it I'll find out um, so this is now a fabric pocket I wanted to cover up so there was a glue incident over here and it um, took off a piece of this paper so I covered it with that and I had to do another coverage but of course I didn't have any of that lace left so I just used that that's from I believe the big stash the big stash we were able to buy at um, Dollar Tree. Anyway, okay, so this was a, a tag I made a long time ago. I didn't bother with the back. Um, yeah, I guess I could still glue some line, line paper on there. So I decorated it up a little bit, and, and there's a pocket on this tag. So there's that envelope, that fold out, flip out writing piece of paper. This little tag, I kept it simple. I know, like I said, whenever it's time for me to actually do anything, I can't think of anything to do. Oh, I can play, and then I, my mind is a blank. Anyway, so there's a tag, and yes, I even put a sticker there. Oops, I put a sticker there. So just put this back in the pocket, and then put it back in here. And there's, you saw me stick that on. And this is that flip out. That's very busy. But I do love this pocket. And when I figure out how to um, how to attach them better, the next one should be better. So I threw a sticker down there. Left that. I put a little bit of stenciling there with, with um, distress inks. So I threw some stickers on here. This is a stamp from my um, Stamps of the World collection. A little cluster. It's totally glued down, so it's not a tuck spot or anything. It's just for show. I had to replace my glass scene or parchment paper bags because I can't get them to stay on the page. Eventually, like it was starting to come up, so I just was like, screw it. So I made this pocket. I kept this tag simple. Um, so I replaced the glass scene bag with this. And then this is a fold up pocket. Here's that tag. From an ind back of an index card. Some more writing spot. A little bit of uh, distress ink there with butterflies. I really like this little round thing I did with the circles. You could do it with any shapes, right? Um, I've seen them with butterflies. So I left it this size. I should have done maybe some more at the end to make it a bigger belly band. But I wanted it in this book, so I ended up taking these extra pieces. I didn't do anything to them. Just distressed the edges. And I threw them in here. Uh, some more writing spot. There's the Edith Holden book with the hidden paper clip that you've seen before. A little bit of butterflies. I attach these because I've punched out a gazillion circles. These are the three quarter inch. So um, I decided to finish off the tags there. But if whoever gets this could always, you know, trim them totally if they don't like the dangles. A little bit of edge stenciling and some more writing spots this is that notebook I made where I use that fun paper that I found at my Dollarama all of these were perforated 
see you can see them how they bend so they can be ripped um, I used my We Are Memory Keepers dial a trimmer. There's six different settings, and one of them is a perforation. So I really like that. It was something I found at Tuesday morning. It was one of the first, I think it was my very first trip to Tuesday morning. Maybe not, but whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, maybe not my first trip. Okay, so there's some more writing, some interest. Oh, I made a couple of tiny envelopes, and here's one of them. And then I just grabbed a tiny scrap threw a little piece on to help pull it out. Just again, more for interest than anything. Music paper. Lots of writing spaces in here. That's why I don't understand why it's so fat. So here's again, a bit more edging. I went a bit darker there. I didn't mean to, but it happens. Um, here, here's that other. I'll show you the charms after. So it just flips out. So there's more writing. And there's Edith Holden, and this is my favorite thing, I think, in this book, other than the charms. The picket fence. Oh, I'm going to have to re-glue that down. Um, that was from G. Kerr, one of her free, Freebie Fridays. If you join her group on Facebook, you um, can get access to her Freebie Fridays. And um, some of them are very adorable. So I printed this out, and I glued the edges of the horizontal strips of wood and then just the bottom so now and I and I glued on the my little popped up bird for interest and it's just a little tuck spot huh. another one sorry excuse me while I glue this corner all right there we go it's probably from being dragged in and out all the time Okay, so some more pages, a little sticker again. I ended up gluing the doily down to the book pages. And here's the center of this one. It's the same punches. Oh, same paper. Some more, see, lots of blank pages. Okay, so here's another um, pocket. This was the one that was, I told you, it was supposed to be the flip over, but I ended up treating it like a flap instead of with a notch. Anyway, so here's a tag that I made. I guess you don't want to see it upside down. Okay. And there's ribbon on here. There's two ribbons. Sorry, see these cards? Um, this came from some something I had bought, like a collection of ephemera. Um, there's one of those kind of fabric -y with floral print ribbon, and then I covered it with the thin lace. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, so... That's that, and then more edging, and then this is a printout I had done a while ago at work, and I threw a couple of these cards in here. Oh, I guess I need to ink those. So I'll leave that out for a second. There's another one of the hidden. I tried and put one. I tried to put one on. Uh, well, I did put one on each signature. There's a little bit of butterflies down there. Stamps. Here's the, another mini envelope. This was with thicker paper, but the same little guy. I used as the insert. Now this was a glassine bag for this big giant tag. Let me show you the tag first. Again, nothing exciting. I ended up not putting anything up here because like it, it's almost it was almost like the height of the page. So the glassine bag was just starting to come off or sorry, par parchment bag envelope pocket thingy was just starting to come off and it's like you know it's going to rip off and then it's going to look bad so I just took it off and then I I made this pocket but the problem was when you use the pocket punch board it comes with a, a sheet of measurements and I couldn't find anything close to the size I needed so I basically had to do it myself I just figured out what size it worked as you can see it actually kind of worked for me and then I just wanted to add something to the outside of this so I had this long this 12 inch strip so I cut it um, with my washi chomper so I cut in to make it look like an arrow and then I quickly uh, put this together this extra to use it because it is like a belly band just to give it more interest right doesn't that look cute and I think this is just black blank on the back 
Oh, I might have to ink the back side too. No, I think it's done. Okay. And then it keeps wanting to stick. It's weird. Okay. There we go. Some more blanks for writing. And then here's the back. And this one, I, um, I just glued this in the front. This was a napkin. Um, I found out after how I can, how, how I can rip or cut, um, napkin designs out better after I saw this. So I'm like so excited. So, oh, and all you do is y you get your napkin here. Actually, I have something here. So you get your napkin and you get a water brush and then you carefully go around the edge with the water, like make it wet, and then you tear it. That's all you have to do, and it'll come out. It might look a bit raggedy, but once it's down on whatever you're de decoupaging it or gluing it onto, it, it'll look great. So anyway, it's back in the screen here. Um, but this, I still thought this looked okay, except uh, the edge came was loose. So it wasn't so I used. I used art glitter glue instead of the glue stick, and you can tell that it's different. So I'm kind of annoyed with that. So right here it's a little bit loose, so I'll try a glue stick. Let's see if I can get that to work. Okay. Um, yeah. So, But other than that, I mean, even though the top didn't come out as well as I like. It still looks okay at first glance, right? It's not bad. A little bit of the ink smudge there. And I did a little bit of stamping here. And I glued this on for writing. And I dated it June 2020. And that's it. That is the book. Um, so these charms, I showed you this before. This charm was a pack of five or six... It's earlier in the video, I'm sure, that I, I bought at Michael's on clearance. So adorable. And I attached it to that clip. And this one is one of those clips that I found at Dollarama, you know, like 12 for a dollar or whatever it was. And I added a jump ring and then attached a key. I couldn't decide which um, charm to use because, you know, you have a huge collection of charms to make dangles and decorate things and then you don't want to use any of them but a lot of them are themed like I'm not using any sewing stuff in this book right and I didn't really have any bird ones so I decided to use the key because keys go with everything and this little it was already um there was already a loop there so that's why I just grabbed that and attached them and there you go so that one I put to the in the second signature I believe yeah, the top. I did not put um, the pen holder in this book. And then down here. But, oh, no, wait. I want this over here. And then that dangles. I could even put that lower, put that higher. It doesn't matter. And then, yeah, and then I'll put the wrap on. And there you go. There's my journal. My little junk journal. She's a. I don't know why she's so thick. But anyway, she's done. So now um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be make, working on next, but it will have to be a journal. While looking for different supplies, I noticed I have a ton of Halloween and even more Christmas stuff. So I, I really should be starting on some of those. I know Christmas in July starts on Wednesday, but I really should be getting ahead on that stuff for a change, right? And I'm um, trying to cut down on the clutter of, <laughs> or my stash, not clutter, my stash of stuff. Anyway, so that was my journal along with me. I'm sorry I skipped a lot of steps, but some my phone, sometimes it just doesn't want to store any videos. You know, the cloud issue and very annoying. And I'm sure a lot of you have the same issues. Anyway. That's it, and I hope you guys like this little um, journey I had with this book, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.